I'm Ann Jones, the president of the Greater Havel Arts Association. Welcome to this week's edition of the NSArtEvents.com Bulletin. This organization has been around since 1971 and we have a very active body of over 100 members. We also have, although we don't have a brick and mortar presence in this physical world, we do have a great presence through media. We have a wonderful website. We have a monthly newsletter that goes out to almost 400 people. And we have a lot of support from the greater Haverhill area community, businesses, and people. Today we have several members of the association with us to talk about aspects of the group and also to talk about their own art. And I'd like to introduce Daniel Shaw, who's been a member for more than 30 years and knows a great deal about the association's origins. The organization was founded in 1971 by Bob Gablowski, who unfortunately passed away just last year. Uh, the primary function of the group in the early days was to have a monthly uh, demonstration meeting by the prominent professional artists of the day. Now at those meetings also there was an artist of the month designated who was uh, asked to uh, display a number of their paintings uh, for the membership. And at that time we also had a week-long members show in the spring of each year where uh, awards were given uh, for both professional and amateur categories. Now in 1991 when I was president uh, a twice monthly workshop was established at the First Church of Christ Auditorium in uh, Bradford uh, where members and non-members alike were uh, invited to participate. Uh, at a, there was a small donation uh, requested of each. With the guidance of uh, our workshop leader, Dina Carbone, we had provided a, uh, a live model and a still life setup. Now, Mark Hayden uh, agreed to be the instructor for the, uh, the portrait group with the live model, and uh, watercolorist Jean Cloisy became the instructor for the uh, the still life group. Uh, after Jean's untimely passing, Joan Rademacher then became the uh, instructor for the uh, still life group and is to this day. Now, in 1992, the first of many Greater Haverhill Arts Festival took place on the Bradford Common where artists from all over New England were invited to uh, display and sell their work. And this has been a, a reoccurring tradition over the years. And that's a capsulized version of the, the Greater Haverhill Arts Association. And now uh, Susan Nealon will uh, give us a little overview of the organization. Hi, my name is Susan Nealon. As far as the Haverhill Art Association goes, it's a fantastic um, art association to be in. As our president, Ann Jones, mentioned earlier, we don't have a brick and mortar place to be, a building to work out of. However, there's monthly meetings on the uh, fourth Sunday of every month from 2 to 4 in the afternoon at the Buttonwoods Museum at 240 Water Street in Haverhill. Uh, we have a uh, demonstrating artist and um, a great group of people who attend, who are able to attend that. We also have the Saturday workshops that Mr. Shaw mentioned earlier. Um, Joan Rademacher and Mark Hayden equally um, mentor people who go there. Uh, it's four dollars to attend. I'll put the, sorry, it's five dollars to attend. Put the money in a basket, sign so that they know they're getting great attendance. Um, it's a fantastic opportunity for five dollars to paint from a live model. Um, also, there is an annual Art in the Park show that is run every September, and that is in Bradford, Mass. And you can find more information of that on the Haverlot Association's website. And we also in May have an annual show. It's a members show that's held at the Haverhill Public Library in Haverhill. So I uh, encourage you to look into the Great Haverhill Art Association as a great resource to 
present your art and get your I'd like to introduce Debbie Shirley, another member of the Great Haver Art Association. Thank you. I'm an accredited association has multiple opportunities for artists to become active um, in the art community and network with other artists. We have a painting every January at Newton Greenhouses in Georgetown, and at the end of the month, we have, everybody comes and paints every Sunday in the greenhouse, um, and then we have an exhibition at the end of the month where the artists show their work. We also have a student show every May at the Buttonwoods Museum that's open to local middle school and high school students. We have our annual exi open exhibit also in May at the Buttonwoods Museum. Um, in the summer, we do a moving show. Um, every year it's been somewhere different. This past year it was at the Kelly Public Library in Salem, New Hampshire, and that is a member show. And then in September, we have our art festival at the Bradford Common, and that's a great um, opportunity to show and sell your work, and that's been growing every year. And holiday season, we participate in the um, Buttonwoods Festival of Trees, and we also have a holiday exhibit at the Haverhill Public Library for members during the month of November and December. And that is a lot of the opportunities that we have for the Haverhill Art Association, and they're always growing and changing. Um, I'd also like to introduce to you another member of the Art Association, and that would be Jeff Grassi. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff Grassi. The Greater Haverhill Art Association uh, website and the Facebook page has information regarding the upcoming um, art demonstrations, artist openings, and then also the um, information regarding assignments for the monthly newsletter. Uh, which has everything that we do. And for more, uh, any more questions, you can go to the um, website or to info at ghaa.art. Bring back Ann Jones to uh, talk a little about our. Thanks for watching this video, and we'd like to invite you to join us, the GHAA, Greater Haverhill Arts Association, and participate in our demos, our workshops, our exhibits, all of the many things that we do throughout the year.